Aladdin Creations. Hello guys, welcome to Aladdin Creations. My name is Kavindu. Staining is one of most important process in which histological sections are colored by various techniques. Hemodoxin and Neocene is the most important and widely used histological stain. So in this video, we are going to discuss what is the Hemodoxin and Neocene stain, principle of Hemodoxin and Neocene stain, when we use this stain, advantages, disadvantages, etc. So let's start. As the name implies, stain combination with two types of dyes, hemodoxanin and neocene. Hemodoxanin is extracted from hardwood of the tree Hemodoxylum campesianum, found in Mexico and Central America. This tree also called as logwood or bloodwood. Eosine is synthetic acidic dye. It used along with hematoxylin in staining to demonstrate the cytoplasm of different type of cells, connective tissue, muscles, red blood cells, etc. It is stained basic structure in red or pink color. The eosine is available in market as eosine Y, eosine S, and eosine B. Principle of Hemotoxylin and Eosin stain. Hemotoxylin is a basic dye which stain acidic components of the cell, such as nuclei in purple black color. Eosin is an acidic dye which stain basic components such as cytoplasm, connective tissue in pink orange color. However, extracted hemotoxylin is not a stain and it is necessary to undergo oxidation process to become a natural dye. The oxidation result the product called hematine and it can be achieved by two ways neutral oxidation and chemical oxidation. When we consider neutral oxidation, neutral oxidation can be occurred by exposing to the sunlight and air and this hematine retain its staining ability for a long period. When consider chemical oxidation, chemical oxidation can be done by using chemical when preparing the stain. But remember, this product retain the staining ability for short period. However, the oxidized product hematine itself have poor staining properties. To enhance the dye cell component binding, mordant are being used. What are mordants? Modens are metallic kinds such as tungsten, molybdenum, lead, ammonium, iron. Hematin is weak anionic basic dye, therefore it has weak affinity for acidic cellular structures. Combined with the modern dye component get positive charge and increase affinity for selected tissue elements. Cationic dye metal complex bind to the anionic nuclear chromatin. Hemotoxylin stain can be categorized based on the type of modern use, such as alum hemotoxylin, which contain potassium alum or ammonium, iron hemotoxylin, tungsten hemotoxylin, molybdenum hemotoxylin, and lead hemotoxylin. What are the uses of hemotoxylin and eosine staining? Hematoxylin and eosine is the most widely used stain in medical diagnosis and is often the gold standard. As an example, when a pathologist looks at a biopsy of suspected cancer with hemotoxylin and eosine stain. Result of hematoxylin and eosine stain Nuclei, calcium salt, urates, and bacteria staining in blue color. Also, cytoplasm connect to tissue electrocytes stain in shaded pink color. Advantages of hemotoxylin and eosine staining 
provide excellent nuclear details such as outline, chromatin pattern and nucleoli. Provide important information helpful for diagnosis such as keratinization, oncocytes and plasma bodies. Not very expensive stain can be used for diagnose a wide range of histopathological conditions. Disadvantages of hematoxylin and neosin staining Long staining time Hematoxylin and neosin staining does not always provide enough contrast to differentiate all tissues and cellular structures. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and gained some knowledge for your studies. What do you think about this video? Leave a comment. And in my next video, I hope to discuss with you procedure of this hematoxylin and eosin stain. So don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to update with more medical laboratory science and medical related videos like this. Thank you.